What's the matter? Well, then what happened? In fact, just keep these things. There's no need cooking. Is my lady dead? Don't be ridiculous. Are you wishing her dead? But Udo just said, there's no need cooking. Udo, what's the matter? She gave back to a steel ball. Because of our land. Why? Eh? Hey. Anyway, she still needs to eat. At least something came out from her body, whether dead or alive. Child, thank the gods she has her life. At least she'll still give birth to another baby that will stay. You know, the most painful thing is that the baby is a boy. Child, it's a pity. But that is life for you. In life, you don't get what you expect. Ije, hmm? can you at least put on a sorry face for once? Mm. And who do I say sorry to? You? Oh, sorry. Huh? You say sorry. Ah, ah, what is it? You have a big problem, a very big problem. God forbid. Come out of here. Go. My lady must be very hungry right now. Okay, hurry, 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 hurry. Hurry. Where's the other, where's the other knife? Hurry now. I said hurry. You're just looking at me. Hurry. You just delivered a baby. Please, my lady, I beg you. Eat something. Ulo. Don't remind me of that again. I'm sorry, my lady. Has she eaten? No, my princess. Where's her food? Right here. Leave us. Thank you, my princess. What are you trying to do to yourself? That you gave birth to a stillborn child is not busy enough for you to cry and starve yourself to death. <laughs> Why me? Why me, princess? Why we me? cannot question the gods and we do. For they know what is best for us. You have to get up, eat something, take your bath, and put on a sweet smelling fragrance. Forget about yesterday and look up to tomorrow. Tomorrow is unpredictable. We do not know what it has in store for us. My king, yes. she has to finish the with the herbs I've given her already. And once she conceives again, I'll start administering new herbs to her, which will help to stabilize both her body and that of the unborn baby. To avoid giving back to stillborn again. Well, whatever you need to do to prevent all those previous occurrences uh, is what I'm after. Igwe, on a man, when I want to go, I want to go. Don't worry, everything will be fine. Good, well, that's what I pray. Ah. My lady. Greetings, my lord. It's nice to see you up and about radiant again. Mm. All thanks to my princess. Thank you, my jewel. I'm just doing my job, father. Right, right. So where are you up to? We just want to take a walk. We'll soon be back. Good, but make sure you don't go too far. Father, I promise to bring your wife back to you in good health. <laughs> <laughs> we are all friends. My king, 
It's good to see that my princess and my lady are bit longer. Yeah, yes. But you will say something about your house. Uh, my lady, sir. Yes. Good. So, okay. Alright. Okay. 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 Something troubles the ego. Nigel, only the lies the head that wears a crown. And this crown is getting heavy by the minute. Hmm. Is there something I have missed out? Do you ever miss anything in this kingdom? Her time is near. You surprise me, my father. Instead of you to rejoice in anticipation of what is about to happen, you worry your head over nothing. Ah, old memories are hard to erase, my dear. And I'm not getting any older. My father, where lies your faith? The gods could just be testing you for this time. My dear, it is difficult for men to determine the minds of the gods. You have been a faithful ruler of our land. The gods are not blind. But the ways of God are not the ways of men. We know the ways of the gods are not the ways of men, but it's their duty to guide us. And you know they are wise. Major, I wish I could share from your optimism. But it's difficult. Brighten up my father for I see silver linings in the sky and you are the eagle that rules from the sky. Thank you, my dear. Thank you. My lady. My lady. My lady, you're still awake. I can't sleep. The baby won't let me. It's a pity, my lady. But the baby is fine. Yeah. Why are you still awake at this time of the night? Well, I, I was sleeping. So I got up to ease myself and decided to come and check on you. I'm just restless. I don't know how I'm feeling. The past refuses to go. My lady, you worry too much. You worry too much. Do you say I worry too much? Yes, my lady. How can you say that? Look at me. I'm heavy with my fifth pregnancy. And I have no child. Not even one to show for it. And you say I worry too much? How am I even sure that this one won't die before bed like the others? My gods won't allow that happen, my lady. I have a feeling that this will be a different story. I pray that the gods will have mercy and show me favor so that this one can stay. Because I don't think I will put through if anything should happen to this one. I, I don't think so. My lady, you need to go to bed. See, okay, you have to just try and sleep. Let me help you. I have to go back to my room and get some rest. Okay. Matthews, I have heard scores of stories about the white man's ways and their strange behaviors, which is why I decided to deal with them myself. I have rejected any idea of white for me to want. Truth, Your Majesty. Okay. It's good to deal with them straight. Mm. Because I heard that huh, these white men, they buy everything from ivory to escrape. What is that? Who is this? Mba? 
Who is this strange looking fellow? Irian and Ariana. Your Majesty. We found a Robin about the palace. We demanded to know his true identity, but he appears to be dumb. What is your name, young man, and where are you from? Hmm. Look at him. He looks like a lunatic. Is he really? Uh, you could be pretending you know, that uh, how, how do we know? How do we know if he has not come to spy on Muzulan? Yes. You should work! You should work! Well, take him to the uh, guard room. I will deal with this case later. Yes, we have a gentleman that's right. This word was a strange element and strange Father, if you send the Prime Minister, will he know the ways of the white man? Because the middlemen from the coast know their ways and their language. Hmm. You know, my jewel. You're always one step ahead of us. But then, if we let the middlemen do this, will they better represent our interests? We'll send someone with them, someone who will learn their ways and their language. Hmm. Your Majesty, our leadership is in labor. She's in labor, Your Majesty. Go back to her at once. I'll send for the midwives. Okay, my Majesty. Okay. Okay. Hey, someone else knows. Get in I, I wonder what is keeping Agbara and uh, Ikenga. Father, don't worry. They will soon be here. I, I did not keep him too long. In no time, they will be here. Yes, yes. My king, I went to Ikenga's house and when I got there, I didn't meet anybody there. So I decided to go to the farm. Yes. As soon as I got to the farm, I met Ikenga's wife. She told me that Ikenga left for Obwendida for an urgent meeting, my king. Obwendida? Yes, my princess. Which means he's not supposed to return until in three days' time. Huh? I don't know, my king. I don't know. Huh. But you, you may leave. Thank you, my king. We will soon smile. Yes. It's, uh, it's becoming a little too difficult to breathe now. Don't scare me, my father. You will be fine. I don't intend to, my dear. Talk to me. Talk to me. Talk to me first. Not again. Oh, why? Father. Father. Please help me, help me do something. Father, Father. My Father, no, no, please come. I don't know what is wrong with my baby. Please just come with me, please. Oh, God. Oh, Father, Father. Why are you shouting? I'm feeling something. What is happening in the palace? I'm feeling something. Here is hot. Something serious is about to happen, bros. So, you can talk. Eh? So, you can talk. Come, come. Hey! Wonder shall never end. So, you can talk. Talk to me. What is happening in the palace? Is there a war or something? Just tell me. Please, mister. The king is at the verge of death. The great medicine man, the king, is out of the kingdom. As you can see, I don't have time to entertain question and answer. Please. I beg you in the name of the gods. Tell me what is wrong with the king. Just tell me what is wrong with the king. Why all these questions? Eh? Why all these questions? So, what if I tell you now? What will you do about the situation? I can cure the king. I can cure him. You? Or is there any other person inside the cell that will help you cure the king? You just called me master now. I'm a master. Who called you master? 
Okay, let's do it this way. Eh? Allow me out. Let me go and see about the situation. If I did not kill the king, I swear to God. Eh? Take me here, stab me, kill me, throw me, vomit me, quench, do anything, use me. Listen to me. You say you can kill the king. You said you can kill the king, right? You can kill the king. Okay, you wait. Eh? I will be back. Are you taking eh? me back to the cell? Ban me before I'm begging. Are you looking at me? Let me go. I, will, I want to make her go. I'm begging now. I want. I'll, I'll have to go in. Wait, just a minute. I'll be back. Father, please stay with me. Please. Don't go, please. Father, stay with me. Is there no one in this village that knows about herbs apart from Ikenga? My princess. Shut up and stop calling me. Do something. Yes, my princess. My princess. My princess. Is the king back? No, my princess. But there is someone else who said he can kill the king. The gods of my father, this is conspiracy. No, my princess, it's the prisoner. Which prisoner? The one that was caught wandering. He doesn't talk. Yes, my princess, but he spoke to me in the cell. Shut up. Go and get him fast. Now. Fast. Yes, yes my princess. Shut up. Go! This my princess. Will you do something? Shut up, I'm going to Oh, good. Father. My father. What are you all doing there? Disappear! Father. Father, please stay with me, please. Yeah, he is my princess. Are you the one that said he can cure my father? I thought you said he spoke to you. Yes, my princess. He, he spoke to me in the cell. Whatever. Just tell him to get to work immediately. Tell him I also said he should not use my father for experiment. If he doesn't know what to do, he should back off while there's still time. Or I will feed him to the dogs. Yes, my princess. Work him. Get to work. Fast. I You have to hold yourself. You have lost so much blood due to bleeding. And the nurse said you have to calm down so you won't bleed again. Why did she stop it? My lady. She should have allowed me to bleed to death. My lady. That is what I deserve. Oh, my lady, no. <laughs> I have failed in my, in my duty and responsibility to my lord. My lady, you have not failed. You have life, and that is all that matters. Yes, my lord, no. He's in his chamber. At this time of the day, my lady, when my lord heard about the news of the delivery, he passed out. <laughs> I said it. I said it. I said it. No, my lady. I brought so much pain to this palace and I deserve to die. No, no, my lady. You don't deserve to die. May the gods forbid that. My lady. Everyone in the palace knew that you conceive. And you carry your child till childbirth. Why? You will, my lady. You, you will, my lady. When? Very soon. I come up, Corone. He is our king. And we are his cabinet chiefs. If anyone is supposed to be inside there, it should be us. Well, I am sorry, my chiefs. The medicine man warned that he does not want crowd inside the chamber. Hmm? Are you calling us crowd? Yeah. Yeah. This boy is insulting us. Too. 
No, <laughs> no, my chief, he's not insulting us. But what? Yeah. Brother, it's instruction given to him. Yes, we must exercise patience. After all, the medicine man will not be there till he turn it. So we wait. Get that in a boy. Oh, my boy, my boy, who is the medicine man? Biche, I don't know. I don't know his name. I don't know his village. Just wait a minute. He will soon be out, and then you will ask him yourself. And where was on my way? Please, please, let's wait. Huh? We must not leave here until we see the king. Is he very? Where is the princess? Well, the princess is inside. We need to see her. My chiefs, let's wait. Let's wait, my chiefs. <laughs> He's not yet up. Patience. Where is my jewel? I'm, I'm right here, my father. Take my hand. I was nearly demented with worry. For a moment, I thought I had lost you forever. Thank the gods you pulled through. Oh, it's okay. I'm here now. What was that? Just allow him to rest. He will soon get up. Okay, mister. Let's go back. Go where? To the cell, of course. Are you out of your mind? Would you take him to the boys' room? My princess, what if he escapes? He won't escape. What? My, my princess... Would you shut up and do as I have said? Yes, my princess. <laughs> Udo, you're still awake? Yes, my princess. I went to your room, but I couldn't find you. My princess, it's dark and lonely here. It's just what I need. <laughs> My princess, you've had a very long day today. You should go to bed and rest. You must be very tired now. Yes, I am. But I can't sleep. Even if I forced myself, I still would not be able to sleep. You can, my princess. How can I sleep when my father is lying there? What if he doesn't wake up? The gods forbid. My king will sure arise. What if he doesn't, Udo? My princess, he will. Where is your fate? I wish I could change destiny. I wish I could be a maid, someone of lesser burden and responsibility. I wish I were a commoner. I wish I didn't have cares. I wish I was a child who didn't have anything to worry about, just to eat, sleep and play. My princess, everything will be fine. God knows best, my princess. Please, you can go to bed now. I have heard you. You may leave. Follow me. Huh? It's still very early. Mm. 
This one you woke us up early this morning. Is everything all right? You guys did not serve dinner last night, or did you? Hey. Why are you not in this palace? Didn't you see what happened in this palace yesterday? Who remembered food? Listen, I am very, very hungry. Okay? You guys know that I don't play with my stomach. Eh? Makosa! Can I touch it now? You should be ashamed of yourself. The king and the wife is sick. And you are here talking about food this early morning. Look at this one. Why would I talk about food? Eh? Why would I talk about food? Am I a prisoner? Even the prisoner slept on a good bed last night. And you are here telling me I should not talk about food. Eh? Maybe. Will I swallow you? Which prisoner slept on a good bed? The one that revived the king? Or is there any other prisoner in this palace? Hmm. That's another opportunist. Sneaking in little and little. Wait. Who is an opportunist? Uh, Who? We are Ije. Please. It's okay. We've had enough chaos in this palace already. I don't want you to stir up another problem. Please. Uh -huh. Ede. Go. I'll get your food. Leave. Be gone. As we move. Come. Mma or whatever you call yourself. I am giving you five minutes. Five minutes. Mm. If after five minutes I do not see my food, I bear me back home on Yempewazo. Go, I'm, I'm
You are the dumb lunatic who saved me from death. Are you not? Your Majesty, my King, I did not save you from death. That's the business of the gods. I only applied herbs to revive you, Your Majesty. Hmm. You speak so well too. Yet, you acted dumb when you first arrived amidst us. Your Majesty, is in my tradition to act that way in a strange land. That way you determine the hearts of the people. Strange. I mean, your tradition is strange. Yet, you are a man of unusual capabilities. Your Majesty, capabilities are bestowed by the gods. I have traveled many lands. I've seen many traditions. But the gods are faithful. Your Majesty, you will realize what I'm saying when you see what I've seen. Stranger, you are so young for all you claim to know. Who are you? Greetings, Your Majesty. Ah, rise, young lady. Is that ladyship okay? Very well, Your Majesty. Good. It's just that the princess is a bit feverish. Oh. Mm. Is it not a wonder that at these times of need, Ikenga is no longer with us? Your Majesty, my King, permit me to attend to her. Yes, go at once and report back to me. Thank you, Your Majesty. Your Majesty. When did you start? Only this morning. My princess, how are you doing? Cold inside and hot outside. This kind of fever is caused by anxiety and restlessness, my princess. Set your spirits free, my princess. I shall go to the forest and get some herbs to rest your nerves. A sound sleep and you awake like a bouncing baby. Hmm. Thank you. That's very nice of you. What are you called, stranger? Ata. Where are you from? A land far away. A full moon walk. Does it have a name? Omar land. A few days walk from the sea. Hmm. Have you seen white men? Several. But I'd rather not see them. Why? Nobody likes them. Why? They are cannibals. They catch a man, put them in a boat across the sea, where they are being eaten. Hmm, that's horrible. Don't they have animals and fishes in their land? They are strange breed, my presence. So, why are you here? It's a long story, my presence. Start from somewhere. I'm a wanderer. I wandered away from my home in search of words I don't even know after a terrible war. What caused the war? Royal Tozu. The evil of men, catching men and selling them to cannibalistic white man. Mm. You are indeed a strange man. Run along and get the herbs. I'm at your service, my present. I'm here to thank you for setting me free. I am here to thank you for saving my father. Thank you, my present. Buzer, my brother. I chose to call you Mbuze, not as a mark of disrespect, but to remind you that we come from the same great grandparents. I am close to you more than all these other chiefs in your cabinet. I want to tell you, my brother, that some of these your chiefs may even be happy 
for your predicaments. They even wish you to remain like this. So that when you join your ancestors, their children, or even themselves, they start vying for the kingship of this kingdom. But this is not supposed to be so. Your father, after securing very large areas of land, the entire kingdom came together and crowned him the Mbuzewan of Mbuzu Kingdom. And passed the rule. May they rule that his descendants will always rule this community. Just listen. Eh? Unless in a case where nobody shows interest from your descendants, then shall the kingdom, entire kingdom, select somebody to remain on the throne. Ude. Please let this not end in your era. Ude. We will not be happy with you. Ude. All of this is common knowledge. Oh, you know all this, my brother. And you want it to end in your era. What do you want me to do? Hmm? Have I not tried enough today? My king, your trials are not enough. Please, try harder. Give us a hair. Today, my brother, my king. I have chosen not to marry two wives at a time. I will not do that. I it will be very unfair now for me to send her away. Oh, mm. Mm. Hey, I will suggest to you, my brother. Please. Please. I mean, divorce your wife traditionally. And marry another woman. Who will give us an heir to the throne? If we lose the kingship now, it might not, we will not gain it again. We may not be able to regain it again. Please. Eh? And if it ends in your era, my brother, we will not be happy with you. Please. Strange one at like that. What makes you so uneasy? The pressure on me is enough to uproot a palm tree. Send her away and marry her air breeder is the order of the day. Father, someday you will find a solution to it. What's on your mind? Too many and nothing. It's all so confusing. Confusion reigns in the affairs of man when the gods are silent or ill disposed. I feel so sorry for us because Nguido is my friend. I brought her here in the bowels of friendship. Yes, my child. I understand. I do understand. Sending her away now in her condition would be unfair. But the continuity of the kingdom and my lineage beckons. This is why I told you earlier that I am a failure. I'm a total failure. That's, that, that's what I am. Please don't talk like that, my lady. Please, I beg you. I wasn't going to keep this away from you. My lady, this news is everywhere, even outside the palace walls. My lady, 
You know we have been friends before you even got married to the king. I'm just telling you this for you to plan against tomorrow. <laughs> tomorrow? It's not tomorrow for me. I have no tomorrow to plan for. My lady, my lady, listen. You cannot determine bad market in the morning. You still have the afternoon and the evening. My lady, you're in the morning stage of your life. You still have the afternoon and evening stages of your life. My lady, you have to sit up and stop acting like one who has lost everything in life. After all, you have a royal blood flowing in your vein, my lady. Yes, I know. This is my husband's house. This is where I should call my own. But what have I got? What have I got? I've lost it all. I'm in total failure. I'm in loser. I told you I'm in failure. I'm in total failure. You have I'm a loser. to stop, my lady. You have to stop, please, okay? You have to stop. You can't be like this. You have to stop crying and brace yourself up and act like one that has faith. My lady, my princess demands your presence. Well, tell her that she will join her soon. Very gloomy. I hope all is well. I'm good, my princess. There is no need beating about the bush. I'm sure you must have gotten wind of the news about the cabinet chiefs and their resolution about your stay in this palace. I want to assure you that you're not alone. I let you into this. And I will not leave you in the middle of the deep blue sea. All I need from you right now is your cooperation. I understand how you feel. That is why I have consulted trusted chiefs and elders of our land to see how we can resolve this issue so as to save our faces and the throne of our land. All I need is your cooperation so that we can rule this palace to a safe land. My princess, what do you want me to do? It may sound absurd, but trust me, I think it's the right thing to do. My princess, what do you want me to do? is surely in grief. May I ask, what grace her ladyship? May I ask, what brings tears to the eyes of her ladyship? Life is cruel. Living in this palace as queen. You ought to look ahead in faith towards tomorrow. Today will surely come to pass. At sundown, no matter its torture. But what have I done? What have I done to deserve this? Now they want me to do the impossible. The absurd. My lady, you have to be strong. Please, you really have to stay strong. I mean, it 
is clear why the princess told you this thing in secret. No. No. I won't do it. I will not do it. I won't. Calm down, my lady. Please calm down. The pitch darkness of the night can never stop the morning from coming. They are captives of tradition. But I, Princess Nguedo, will not do what they ask. I will not. My queen, I mean, my queen, we are slaves to. I am not a slave to anything. I will not be a slave to a to, to, to a tradition that is that is ridiculous and inhuman. I will not. No. My queen. Is it that bad? Yes. It is bad and ugly. Their tradition. Their tradition. My tradition, my lady. Your stupid tradition only allows your king to marry women from the same womb. How can? Listen, my queen. You really have to calm down. Please, you just have to calm down. I beg of you. Please, you have to do this. Please calm down. Get out. Get out! I will not succumb. And I will not run away. <laughs> but I will fight. I will I will I will fight. <laughs> Her ladyship is surely in grief. May I ask, what griefs her ladyship? May I ask, what brings tears to the eyes of her ladyship? Life is cruel. Living in this palace as queen. You ought to look ahead in faith towards tomorrow. Today will surely come to pass. At sundown, no matter is torture. But what have I done? What have I done to deserve this? Now they want me to do the impossible. The absurd. My lady, you have to be strong. Please, you really have to stay strong. I mean, it is clear why the princess told you this thing in secret. No. No. I won't do it. I will not do it. I won't. Calm down, my lady. Please calm down. The pitch darkness of the night can never stop the morning from coming. They are captives of tradition. But I, Princess Nguedo, will not do what they ask. I will not. My queen, I mean, my queen, we are slaves to... I am not a slave to anything. I will not be a slave to a, to, to, to a tradition that is that is ridiculous and inhuman. I will not. No. My queen, is it that bad? Yes. It is bad and ugly. Their tradition. Their tradition. My tradition, my lady. Your stupid tradition only allows your king to marry women from the same womb. How can? Listen, my queen. You really have to calm down. Please, you just have to calm down. I beg of you. Please, you have to do this. Please calm down. Get out. Get out! 
I will not succumb. And I will not run away. <laughs> but I will fight. I will I will I will fight. My lady, if I may wish to say, the battles is for the gods. Get out. Get out! I spoke with her last night, but she's yet to get back to me. Well, give her time. It's not an easy decision to make, you know. I know. I pray she agrees to what we talked about. I just don't want my lady to be sent away from this palace. She has tried for us. I quite agree with you, I do. But I'm not getting any younger. An age consumes me by the day. Father, you're still as young as, and as strong as the eagle. I just wish Ulama was not born the way he is. We wouldn't have come through all this. Father, the gods know best. Our presence was sent for me. Yes, I did. I don't know how I'm feeling right now. How do you feel? I have pains all over my body. My legs are too heavy for me to walk and my back aches. Are you feeling feverish or do you have a headache? I'm not feeling feverish, neither do I have a headache. I'm just, I just don't know how I feel. What do I take? Um, you don't need any help. I'm afraid it's fatigue. So, I'm just going to stay like this, remain like this all day. What you need is a massage. And I can't massage you. Please, my presence, can you ask one of your maids to? Why can't you massage me? I thought you wouldn't want me to. Go on, do it. What? Do it, it's an order. What? You have to remove your clothes and tie a wrapper so that I can massage you well. All right, turn around. No, let me leave. I'll... Turn around. Oh, 
It's been a week since I spoke to you in my chambers and I told you to revert back to me and you haven't done that. I sent Udo to you repeatedly but you kept telling her you were going to get back to me which you haven't. I'm not feeling fine. That was what you said and I sent Atta to you and he told me three days ago that you're feeling much better. Well, he told you I'm fine but I own my body so I should be the one to tell if I'm okay or not. How many minutes will it take for you to come to my chambers? Since I couldn't come, you should have come. I can't believe this. Well, you had better believe it, princess. Because in as much as you are the king's daughter, I am his wife. What do you think about what I told you? I'm still working on it. You're still working on it? Yeah. I'm taking my time. We don't have time! You don't get to tell me that because I have to take my time. You've told me what you want. Watch me do my thing. How and when I do it is none of your business. Are you sure you're alright? Yes. I'm fine. No, that is not the Nguedo that I know. No. A woman that has lost five babies can she can easily get irritated and snipe at any little thing. Udo, you do not understand. You needed to have seen and heard the way she spoke to me. I believe she still needs more time. Just give her a little time. My princess, he is here with me. Thank you. You can go to sleep. You sent for me, my princess. Yes, Atta. Sit. I can't sleep. I don't know what the problem is. What is with me? Family matters. If you insist. But in case you have so many questions in your life and you need answers to, I know of a man who delivers into the future. He can help you with answers to so many questions in your life. Who is this man? I met him during my transit. Actually, he was the one who showed me so many herbs and their uses. He taught me a lot. Why did you leave him? I did not leave this man. He asked me to leave, that my destiny does not lie with him in that bush. Where did he say your destiny lies? I'm so sorry, my presence. It's private and personal. Where does it stay? In a boundary between Obendida and Amuike. What? Obendida? That's a two-day journey from here. Yes, my presence. Okay. 
I will think about it, but I need you to massage me so I can relax. At your service, my presence. My father always said that the cuttlefish is a very cunning and tricky animal. <laughs> and then, and then. <laughs> you know, my father used to say that the tortoise knew he had no name and he wanted to maneuver the other animals. So he had to think of one name and he gave himself Ainene. <laughs> <laughs> Meaning all of us. <laughs> so he could monopolize whatever came for other animals. And he never knew that the other animals were planning seriously for him to deal with him, especially the birds. So they came to one very big feast they were all attending, and the tortoise came there and they dealt and dealt and dealt with him. <laughs> My prince, I am sorry to interrupt you. The queen sent for all of them. Get that! Get that! Get that! Get queen that way. It is the only print of Buddha Kingdom. Pens. Oh, I don't know. Get that! May you live long, my prince. Get that! Get that! Oh, my prince, please. Can I go and see her to know why she seeks my attention? Mm -mm, mm -mm. I'll come back to you immediately. Mm -mm. I beg you, my prince. Mm -mm, please. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Oh, calma. <laughs> the finest. Mm. <laughs> the most handsome prince in this land. <laughs> The finest prince in this land. <laughs> please, I beg you, my prince. Let me go, please. I beg you. Okay. Okay, right. I'll wait for you. Thank you, my prince. Oh, I'll be yeah. back. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Just remember you started. Yes, yes, yes. Oh, yeah. I'll wait for you. No. Yeah. No. no. <laughs> Mm. What is it? Did the night me again? Who was it this time? Would you please? Not again. Huh? This your nightmare is becoming too much. It was the king. He died in my dream. Uh. I told you to meet Tata before he traveled with the elders to give you some herbs for this your fever. He's getting out of hand though. I pray it's fever. This is the third time I'm having this nightmare. It's fever. You need some herbs urgently before it gets into your brain. <laughs> or maybe it's high blood pressure. You have fever, that's just your problem. Let's go back, let's get back to sleep. Uda told me that they traveled, but she did not tell me where they traveled to. She lied. Yes. I, I suspected that. <sighs> Who knows where they went to at this time? I suspect foul play. I think it has something to do with me. My lady, you have to calm down. No, seriously. You have to calm down, please. How come I'm not, I'm not the, the, the second anything? Yes, you just interrupted my conversation. Uh, uh, okay, we are made. And uh, um, what could it be in the, the discussion with? We, 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 we are made in uh, just such a little thing. It is none of your business. Okay, okay. I, I thought she was free. She was free. I, I wanted to uh, borrow, borrow her. Oh no, my uh, I'm busy right now, but I'll join you when I'm done. Okay. Uh, I'm looking for you in 
my room. Oh, my lady. Oh, oh, what? The director. I'm with you. My room. <laughs> what won't I see in this palace? In the dark, I had the mention of Atu or Babunobo Dumbume. I had the mention of Atu on why I need it. Makano Katakata Kayuna, I know, but I know photo photo photo. It's your affair, Makano. You are welcome. He knows our names, <laughs> he knows the name of everyone, huh? both your unborn children. has so many questions in his mind and he needs answers to all of them like still sicknesses in the palace and many other things happening in Buzo Kingdom he cannot explain he is afraid that he may die one day and a stranger will come and take over the throne of his father to fear what? This is why 
he sent us. <laughs> I know. I know. I wonder about for saying you like it. <laughs> Give me some minutes. Ati himself. The great Ati himself. You have all the time. I My king, with that. It was a long time ago when your father was trying to make sure. He retained his greatness. He bought a slave. A grown young man. And that man was buried alive, exactly where you are seated. Unbelievable. Mm. What a tragedy. God forbid bad things. That young man cried until he was covered to the mother earth. Great Art, now that we know this, what is the solution? Atu guru madu guadu, atu kerizi hige budechi. Your Majesty, rituals, rituals, sacrifices will be made to cleanse the kingdom. Well, yeah, sacrifices to this day. Greetings, my king. How is she? She has been sleeping since morning due to the herbs that I give to her. <clears throat> My jewel. Father. Speak to me. What is wrong? Nothing. Nothing? Then why are you like this? I don't know, I'm just tired. You're tired? But what did you do? I'll be fine. Yes, yes. By the gods, we shall be fine. I heard your good weight, body massage. I feel pain all over my body. I want you to massage my body. I'll massage you, my lady. Good. So? Lie down on your belly. Do you have all you here? Oh, 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 oh,
Oh. Hey! My lord, if not for Ulo, my chief maid, who rushed to my chambers when she did? Hey! This, 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 this beast, this animal would have ripped me your wife. Father, the queen! Father, I don't believe this. Princess, are you saying I'm lying? Ah, princess. Yes, Ulo. My lord, ask Ulo. She, she, she was there. Ask her if, we, if I'm lying or, 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 or telling the truth. But, Joel, uh, if Ulo is a witness to this, they cannot put to lie. I mean, I understand that this stranger here has saved several lives. In good in mind, I must say. But it doesn't mean he will not get punished for committing such an evil act. Attempting to rape a woman. My wife! My queen! Atta, say something. My princess, what else do you want me to say? If I say I did it, the king will punish me. And if I say I didn't do it, the king will still punish me. So let the king decide on what to do. Father. Don't father me, Abiri. Do not father me. Guards! Your Majesty. Lord. Come and take this thing out of my palace. He's an animal. Atta, did you do it? I swear. <coughs> ah, ah. Mm. So the cough and vomiting still persists? Mm. Please just check on my father for me, please. What do we call this? Let me see the king. I'll be back soon. Yes, <coughs> my king will be well. Thank you, Kanga. Thank you. How is my princess? Uh, she's getting better. She wants you to get well as soon as possible. Yes. <coughs> Sorry. Let's make sure she's okay. But she's fine. You are our only concern for now. I'll go to the bush and collect uh, more herbs for the pains and the high fever. My king, you should think less for now. Hmm? I'm trying. Uh, she No. Um, my brother and my king, what is it again? Anyway, whatever happens, the gods will pull it through. It's a. Uh, we say the second. Of course, you know. Anyway, you will have it. Hmm? Yes, sir. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. How's the food? Where about the food? How is my princess doing? Well, she's doing fine just like the king. Allow me to give them herbs. Let me give this herb to them. Herbs? Well, you can give me the herbs. Let me go and give to them. I have to go to the bush and get the herbs. Well, that is where the problem lies. I cannot allow you out of this place without the king's permission. I pray not to happen to my person. That is everyone's prayer. Ada? Ada? Please, I beg you of one thing. Allow me to go to the bush and get the herbs. I will give it to you to give to them. I swear to the gods, I will not even disclose it to any being. Well, I cannot do that. I mean, what if you don't return? Eh? In the one. So you cannot even predict what I Ada can do. <laughs> Look at you, me, Ede, 
et carré carré cam prédit tu after you were tempted to rape my lady see i will never predict anybody i will never predict anybody oh so you also believe i did it ata <laughs> so why would my lady lie against you tell me <laughs> soon very soon you will understand my boy I pray nothing happens to my prisoners and my king. Nothing will happen to them. Okay? Mulanya. Mulanya. Hey! Greetings, my lady. The king died. Yes. Thank you. How is my king and the princess? Oh, they are doing very well this morning. In fact, the both of them are in the king's chambers catching up. Oh, thanks to the gods of our land, which means my herbs really work. Yeah, seriously, it worked. Hey, can I see them? Uh, uh, no, no. You, you can't. Maybe you have to go and come back in the evening. But I have some herbs for them. No, it's okay. You can give them to me. Tell me what to do and I'll ask them to prepare. This is for the princess. It's for Prince and Regina and Fika. <clears throat> and okay, Fufa. This is for the king. Okay. I want Don't mix them up. Okay. So, so what should I do? Cook or match? You have to cook each with you one cup of water. This one, one cup of water. This one, one cup of water. Okay. Don't mix them up. No, I won't. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. ปัจจัยนะโอ้ฮามามูโอ้พี่มันเก็บมันกินไม่ก็ได้มันบ่ก็สิโอ้ที่เก่งกันฮามามาดิมูเฮ้ยชุกุญญากะกะดิจังมา
Hope you prepared it the way I asked. Yes, my lady. Okay. Good. Oh, come back. Go and check if the king is up. King up yet? Yes, my lady. Good. Take the herbs to him. But my lady, I, I thought you'd want to serve him the herbs. Yes. Take it to him, tell him I'm not feeling fine. Go on. Okay, my lady. I got my corona. If I'm I got my baggy bed, rap off Why am I there? Why is he sick? He am boo boo abo. kama. Oh, when I jock Greetings, my king. <coughs> I brought you your herbs. Where is the king? Well, according to my lady, he said he was rushing off somewhere, so he dropped the herbs with her. Why did she bring it? Why you? Well, um, she's not feeling too well, my king. So she asked me to bring it to you. Drop it here. Yeah. Okay, my king. I got my if Now! Be quiet before I'm going to get 
When you get there, you will know. Poison, but thank the gods we were able to do something on time. Thank you very much. The anti poison will help him neutralize all the poison in his bloodstream, and the herb will help him stop further circulation and it will help excrete the poison through sweat, urination, and vomiting. Though it will take some days for him to be fine, but I assure you one thing he will be fine. Thank you very much. What actually happened? I am asking the same question. I don't know why Ulo would want to poison my father. I assure you, he will pull through. Thank you once again. I don't know how I'm going to pay you back for saving my father's life. Thank the ghost. I shall return to the cell. No. You're going to stay here and monitor the king. I can't risk my father's life again. I'm not sure the king will be happy if he comes by and hear that you set his prisoner free. For now, my order stands. Here's my presence. Thank you. Oh, I think we'll <laughs> it's me. You startled me, my my lady. I'm sorry. Why are you here all alone? What of my king? Is he okay? He's the reason why I'm here. He was poisoned. Hey! How about no D? When? How? And by who? This morning, by my chief mate, Ulo. But why? Let me bring her, Auntie. Let us go to the palace. I'll give you anti poison. Oh, is he dead? He came back. It's okay. Yeah. Ata has taken care of him. Yeah. So, how is he doing? He's fine. Well, you shouldn't be here. You should be in the palace uh, looking after him. He came back alone. I need your help. That's why I'm here. I don't understand, my lady. What is it? my chief mate will implicate us in this. She will connect us to this if we don't do something fast. I don't understand you. The king. Eh? You gave me the herbs that I gave to her that she prepared and gave to the king yeah. that all this is happening. Don't you see the link? Did I put in the herbs? Or Muwa? Are you saying I did? I didn't say so, my lady. But a clear conscience she has no accusation. We can swear before the whole village. Anytime, anywhere. I am ready and prepared, except if you are not. The king, eh? you talk like a child. Why don't you see reasons with me? Do you know the humiliation, the disgrace you will face for swearing before the entire village? Humiliation? And finally, I will be vindicated. 
But I'm sorry to say, ask this question, my lady. Did you in any way do anything that uh, you don't want people to know? He came down. I'll give you a piece of land. I'll give you money. I'll give you anything to make you comfortable. I say Obukwa. Say Obukwa. Say Obukwa. He came down, make you comfortable. He came down, don't walk out on me. I owe alliance to the king and the whole kingdom. He can go rope you in. I'll connect you to this crime. If you walk out on me and you don't do as I say, do it. Young Mabuna, when you see Kota Ade Jogo and a cop on you. I said it. And you girls thought I was jealous of her. That I hated her. That girl, she is a murderer. She's a bad luck. Okay? She is an opportunist. I mean, Ulo. I still don't believe that Ulo did it. Something is definitely wrong somewhere. Mm. And I can feel it. Mm. I'm not swearing for anybody. I can't swear for her. Because anything can happen. Ulo is a good girl. She is. Oh, why all these problems? I won't. Mm. Elders, I don't understand this. I don't understand this whole story at all. But why would you know poison the killer? Once a killer, always a killer. That girl, she's a witch. We have to deal with her once and for all. Else, she bewitches our children. I'm trying to get something out here. If really, Ola poisoned the king, then there must be someone behind her. I mean, someone she's working for. Who could that be? I think that girl must be possessed by an evil spirit. Ah, uh, but my chiefs, let us not rush into conclusion yet. She's still in the prison. Let us just pray that the gods will spare the king of this attack. The moment the king is well, we shall all sit down here and decide her fate. I think you are right. Let's pray that the king recovers fast. Nothing will happen. He will pull through. He has seen tough days. Are you sure she didn't go out? Uh, I've been looking at this one since I don't know. She's not, she has, I've not gotten any response. Maybe something is wrong with my lady. What could be wrong with my lady? No idea. No idea. No idea. Maybe she went out. What if she took those helps? What helps? Open this door. Maybe we can't open this door except to break into this. Break it down. Open the door. Malibu. Get at her fast. Now! This one. This one. This one. My lady. My lady. My lady. The evil. The lion himself. Oh, praise the gods for sparing your life. So happy for you, my dear. Uh, now that we are completely healed, what will be the punishment for the maiden that wanted to take your life? Uh, my dear, first of all, let me thank you all for 
your support. Thank you for being there during the entire time. I thank you. I have taken a deep look into the case of this lady. And I can see that it is all complicated. Quite complicated because of the Kenga's death. Now, we have no way of knowing the original source of this poison. The girl is pleading innocence. And we must tread carefully. Carefully so that we don't make a mistake that we'll regret in the future. Uh, I'm sorry to cut you short, my king. Uh, but the truth is, there is no time you catch a thief that he or she will not claim to be a first time. Exactly. And we all know the history and record of the jail in question in this kingdom. Huh? I suggest we act fast. We should be very fast to avoid uh, 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 allowing that bad act to spoil the remaining good acts we have in the kingdom. You are right, Ishi. You are absolutely right. I think I saw a point in that uh, one day. What if the girl is innocent of this crime? This was how we delayed it the other time. When this the same girl was spared of big crime she committed, now the same thing would have happened again. Why must she be fingered? Huh? Why must she be in the picture in the first place? I wonder. Do, is she the only maiden in the palace? Yeah? What? Uh, uh, well, uh, my sins. I have concluded that this made it be someone to come to the presence of the great oracle of Daga and swear to our innocence. I need not remind you, chiefs, that uh, whosoever swear falsely in the presence of uh, Daga, that will happen to him or her. Oh, I like this. Yes, I like this. The what idea is true. Sure yes. yes, what is it? My king, might as well be said to see are you, are you blind? Can't you see I'm in the middle of a deliberation? Uh, my king, please, it's urgent that you, you really need to see you that it has to do with Ulo's case. Ulo's Well, bring him in there. You may leave us, God. Yes, my king. I greet you, my king and my chiefs. We greet you too. You're welcome. Yes, uh, Mazzioli. You demanded to come before me. Yes, my king. But first of all, let me congratulate you on your first recovery. May the gods be praised. Yes. I came in respect of ruler. I am her father's only brother. I am here on behalf of the family. We sat and agreed to pay you a visit, my king, to tell you that we have ostracized Ulo from our family due to the act and the causes associated with her crimes. To begin with, my king, her father, being my brother, died the moment she was born. And her mother died because of her too. Now she wanted to kill our king after killing an innocent young man. Your Majesty, sorry to say this. We want you to know that we are strongly behind you on any action or judgment you pass on her. It is a pity. But let he that kills by the sword die by the sword. Um, I greet you. And I thank you for appearing before me. My chiefs and I we have also reached the conclusion. After taking a deep look into the case, and we have concluded that the girl in question is someone 
come to the presence of our great oracle of Odagada to swear to our innocence. After that, we shall know what to do. You are welcome. Ah, you will leave us. Thank you for coming. Oteka, nuko alose, oka alose, ubo yambo sendo na gua, ana maju, ege lisi kote nwe wewe kwa kaka kwa 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 wili pe, oteka. Look at abominable things happening in this community, and you are there, oteka. We always call you in the night, and you answer us. Now, Otaka, go ahead and see about this abominable thing that has happened. Nalum, take this mess. Take it. Build your course with uh, Otaka by striking it three times. If you are guilty, Otaka will strike you dead immediately. If you are not guilty, Otaka will spare your life. Do it. Greetings, everyone. Thank you. Greetings, my elders. Thank you. Greetings, my chiefs. I am here to plead not guilty to the allegation that I poisoned the king. If I am guilty, may Otaka strike me dead. But if I'm innocent, may Otaka not spare the culprits. She is not guilty. Look at, look at her, look at her. She is the one guilty. So it was you all the one. You have to resort into taking my life. <laughs> I give you the king. I, I lied against Ata. Ah. <laughs> because you will not sleep with me. You are. I me. Help you. No, you were born in hell. Don't touch, don't stop on this. Come back. Once again, you have proven your loyalty to me. I want to apologize for all the allegations, the humiliation, and all the harassment you faced during the entire period. On behalf of my family, I say sorry. Please do not take it to heart. We're really, really sorry. My princess, you don't need to apologize. All you did is what you should have done in such situation. My princess, I bear no grudges with anyone. 
I am just grateful to the gods that have been vindicated once more. It's nothing, my princess. All right, if you say so. My princess. Oh, my princess. Are you are you all right? Yes, yeah, I'm fine. Okay. Are you sure? Yeah. My, my princess, please just sit down, please. I beg you, please. My princess, are you all right? I'm fine. Are, are you sure? Yes. Um, my princess, I honestly think that you're with child. Who told you that? Finished. No, my princess, you are not finished. My princess, it's a good thing. My princess, are you? Kingdom, the eagle. Sacrifice it before the shrine of Obosus. Yerambia, Ade Buisiajan. Oko Jime. Sa loyalty. Oko me. Buzetu, it's settled and over. All will be well again. The gods will visit you with many blessings, including male and female children. Your son, Olama. The heir to your throne will be well in no time.
Ah. My father, my king. My king. My son, the prince and heir to the throne of my kingdom. I greet you. Um, actually, father, I that is something I wanted to tell you. And since the princess is here, I think that makes it better and easier. Um, I could excuse both of you. Um, no. Your presence is highly needed. Well, speak then, son. I am listening. Father, I have a pressing need. Just mention it, and it is settled for life. What is it? Father, I want to get married. I need a wife. Ah. Good, good. Check my hands, son. Yes. Good. Now tell me. For I can make arrangements. I can arrange to meet any princess from any kingdom, be it for the west, south, east, or north of this kingdom. Father, she's not a real blood. Oh. A daughter of a present. Well, who is she? She's not far fetched. She's within these walls. Father, I'm in love with Olo. You have my blessing. Today is a very special day ah, in our kingdom. It's the prince, the future king of Mbozo kingdom, taking a bride today. But the ego himself, the Mbuzo too of Mbozo kingdom, yes. Hey, yes. the ego himself, is using this medium to organize a little get together in form of thanksgiving unto the gods for serving him, uh, his household, and the entire kingdom. From all these troubles we experienced in this community these few years ago. Uh, we therefore ask you to sit down, relax your mind, eat and drink, marry, as we witness this great event. Mm. Question! Yes. Question! Yes. And now I call on the maidens to bring forth the bride, the luckiest maiden of our time. Mm. <laughs> to come forth for the king's blessing. Let the music play on. Oh, yes.
Ah. Uh, thank you, the people of uh, Umbuzaland. Igwe! My daughter, take this cup of wine and show us your husband. give you my blessing. May the gods of our land bless your union. Isé. May you be blessed in multiple folds. Isé. You shall be blessed with long life, all riches, prosperity, and plenty of children, male and female. Isé. Rise and live happily ever after. Isé.
be strong for us. You'll be fine. Yes. Atta has gone to the bush to get some herbs and we'll soon be back. My children, there will be no need for that. I'm a fulfilled man. <clears throat> I can proudly return to my ancestors now. Baby, a proud you're, father. You're scary, us. Please just stop, please. My father and my king. We need you most now. <coughs> my daughter, I have done my bit. The rest is left for you now. Prince, father. Take charge of the kingdom. And make sure that. You rule without fear or favor. And be very, very transparent in everything you do. Yes, Father. I promise to make you proud. Ah, the time is now. My ancestors beckon. Do you hear the music? I can't hear anything, please. Stay with me, my Father, please. May the gods favor you. I'm already favored. Please stay with me, please. Uh, yes. Uh, my princess. Yes, my father. Is there something? Sir. <laughs> is, there, is there something you need to tell me? Bless you and my unborn grandchild. Me. Me. Why is calamity 
threaten this land at the dawn of your reign. High priest, may the gods forbid. The gods are angry. And who is that fellow who incurred the wrath of the gods? They thunder in vengeance at the mortal man involved in mercy. How dare I, when their place of refuge has been desecrated by mortal man? Desecrated by removing one of their staffs. They are saddened, and the peril awaits your kingdom. If it is not recovered in two market days, I have spoken the minds of the gods. Mba! Mba! Mobilize every able-bodied young man in this kingdom. I want that stuff. Or your head on a platter. Okay, Your Majesty. This is the man, the saboteur of your reign. You, you, Mazobi. Your Majesty, live forever and allow your servant to explain. You want to explain how you wanted to invoke the rights of the gods on the Muslim land. I was going to return it. I planned to kill that agent of the white man after he had paid me the money. You're a lunatic. Majeli, what are you saying? You speak like a man demented in the brain and cancerous in the mouth. Your Majesty, if you will permit me. You see that stranger? He approached me to steal the staff of a bus of which he will pay me some money. I was wondering what the white man would do with the staff of a uh, I was owing money, and uh, I thought this would be an opportunity for me to offset all my debts. There is no excuse for stealing. Much more stealing from the shrine of a <laughs> I was going to return it. I thought Obosus had come to my aid by providing me such a wonderful opportunity. Ha! Uh, your mouth be cost. His rot is sure. Yeah. Mazubi, you wanted to kill to pay off your debts. God! Your watch is. Take it off. No. 
walking on the field. Yes, your Majesty. Go. Can you no balatule, bravando? We have to go and do lulose, bravjoni. O kalodi, ndi ora ho. Ne kwanu va kavanaga. Ma mbeja sukoli odi muma. Mba no. As you all can see, it is difficult for once for the lion to roar. However, I will allow the queen to pronounce her judgment on Maziobi. My queen. He dies. He dies not only for stealing the staff of opposition, but also for his treachery against me and my mother. The gods come down. You want your uncle dead? Not for his present, but his past? For both. He should die a painful death. Showing him mercy amounts to weakness. I do not dispute your logic. But I think your personal vendetta is at the core of your verdict. I hear bitterness and anger in your voice. And that makes judgment triumph over mercy. With due respect, you misunderstand me. And I detest it. I equally detest your short memory, your hypocrisy and blindness to the prorogation of mercy. How can you forget so soon how you were brought from prison and poverty into the palace? No one, no one has been shown as much mercy as you have received in this palace. He is a wicked man. How can you defend a thief? The same way I defended a murderer and made a queen of Mbuzu land. Enough, both of you. Enough. I am the king. And my orders are final. There must be division of labor. And everyone should know his or her boundary. Oh Lord, here as my wife and the queen to the great king of Mbuzo Kingdom. And as such, as the power has bestowed on me as king Mbuzo the Third of Mbuzo Kingdom, I hereby silence every other voice except of my queen. My queen, you may pronounce your judgment on this matter. My lord, I greet you. My elders, My queen. My lord. I thank you for the opportunity you've given me to avenge all the wrongs my uncle did to me. But I want to tell you all here today that it is wrong to pay evil for evil. So, I forgive him. And I ask you all to forgive him. My Lord, I plead for your forgiveness. Instead of ostracizing him and the public assault, I plead that he pays a fine and makes sacrifices to the Obosusi deity. 
We cannot have a kingdom of rigid rules. So I plead with you, my Lord. Let us amend. Forgive. And lead by example. Thank you, my Lord.